Good evening, everyone. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Nick Toma. I'm Candace Kelly. Investigations are intensifying into a ballot paper shortage at Luzerne County polling places that forced extended voting hours. And an investigation into alleged voter fraud at a polling place is now over. 2822 Eyewitness News I team reporter Andy Mahalchik joins us live with everything from the Luzerne County Courthouse. Andy, what did you learn tonight? And a lot of moving parts to this ongoing, these ongoing investigations. Luzerne County District Attorney Sam Sangodochi tells me it was a big mix-up at a Kingston polling place. And county officials, including county council members, say they want to know once and for all what led to a paper ballot sh shortage last Tuesday. It's a little disheartening. It's disenfranchising. I mean, I, you don't think it would ever happen, and it actually happened. That's what Karen from Kingston told the I-Team last week. She says on Tuesday, she went to the Kingston Rec Center at around noon to vote, and a worker at the poll said she had already voted and showed her a signature in the registration book. Problem was, it was not her signature. The Luzerne County District Attorney's Office launched an investigation. Late Monday afternoon, DA Sam Sangodoshi says it was a mistake at the polls. Thankfully, it was just a case of voter mix-up. Uh, someone with a nearly identical name was sent to that ward, uh, signed the booklet, and actually was just in the wrong place. Uh, so when the later voter came, she, her name was already signed. This comes as Luzerne County officials try to find out what led to a ballot paper shortage on Tuesday that resulted in extending voting hours to 10 p.m. Now, the election board, which oversees the election bureau, continues to count provisional ballots and are meeting right now. Meanwhile, county council members Matthew Mitchell and Leanne McDermott tell Eyewitness News that they want to know what's going on inside the bureau. Mitchell says it may be time to amend the county charter to allow the council to have a bigger role in the day-to-day -day operations of the election bureau. When we have an emergency situation such as what's transpired with the elections bureau, our hands are tied and uh, we can't get in there. And not that we want to take over the entire operation per se, but at least go over and assist and give some direction and make sure everything's going forward and being done in a uh, correct way. From the outside looking in, this is horrible to have four elections go wrong. And that's part of the reason of why we have to somehow try to intervene with the election board. Now, by the way, the voter in Kingston who has thought her name was already signed was able to vote by provisional ballot. Again, the public meeting underway now, much more throughout the evening on PAHomepage.com and, of course, on Eyewitness News at 11. Nick and Candace, back to you. Interesting developments for sure tonight. Annie, thank you.